today I show you a really good notification you will have if you have your Sony Xperia 1 Mark V and you get this notification for an update. This means now, this means Android 15, so this is delivering now the update for Android 15. And I will show you why, because I was waiting for it for a long time, actually a few days, almost one week. Many people with the same device, they had it, but I didn't have it yet, so I don't know. My phone model is XQD, XQDQ54, that's Sony Xperia 1 Mark V, the EU version, global version, or something like this. The current current version of the operating system, 67.1.A. Point two point three zero seven. This is the current current build number. If I go now to the updates page, system, go to software update, and this system update. I'll start the update now, downloading, because it's going to take a while to download it. So this system update here is in the version sixty seven point two point a point two point forty one. So it's already been a few versions since oh, I pressed cancel by mistake. It's been already a few versions that they've been using. So they already have a few versions of this, but 67.2 here, because the big number changed here, it increased. It means there's going to be a major version update. And also the size of the download file is one giga, so that's in the update history. I want to show you actually the menu here. This is the the quick settings menu. I want to show you the quick settings menu before it's changing after the update. So these are the this is how the quick settings menu looks like. And this is how the lock screen looks like now. These buttons here, just for reference, so we know how it was before. And all the settings here. Uh, there's quick settings and there's uh, the settings itself. I hope it's not going to be taking too long. It's almost downloaded here. I'll show the update history. So we have, we did a few updates. 67.1. There were a few updates. So they do, do have updates. I've been waiting for this one really a long time. And now it's starting to install. Already starting to install. I should charge the phone because I have 58% battery. So I always say that it's better to have more than 50% battery. And I didn't start it now because I was really excited to get this going, get the Android 15 on the phone. Okay, so I'll plug in a charger, some kind of charger. Yeah, don't forget to plug in the charger. And also, not just plug it in, make sure it's actually charging. Because that's also a big deal. It's important. You can see the time there, 8.28. I'll let it sit until it's really finished installing. I believe this is going to take a while. So, once it's finished, I will go back to it. I just got the notification this morning. I checked every day to see if there is any update. There were no updates. And I saw on the XDA forum already someone posted that XQDQ54 has it. I don't know if they got it through the regular way or they used uh, this, uh, this uh, Xperia installer or some program to install. But I prefer to do the update the uh, regular way, the update as it comes from Sony. So it's ready. Let's wait until it's finished. And then it will reboot and we get Android 15. Wow. Okay, it's it's on step two now, step two of three of uh, fifty percent, but it's taking its time. It's already eight fifty, and still going. Phone is not getting too hot, just a bit, just a bit warm. But this is a big update, so it's going to take a while. Don't unplug the phone. Don't try to restart the phone. You could actually use the phone while while you're doing this. This is all happening in the background, so you can actually. Use your phone as normal. There's no problem to use the phone. And then you get a notification when it's time to restart. Or you can even schedule the restart. So that's pretty nice. So let's wait until it's finished. With the last step. Step 3. Okay. Okay, we're at the last step now. Oh, that was finished. That was, that was really quick. 
So we were at the step one takes a bit of time and two, but three is very quick. So now the Android 15 is ready to install, ready to, when you restart it, then it's actually installed. So if I run the, if I check the camera app, Videography Pro app, that's the version there. And the Photography Pro app, this is the version. Cinema Pro app. The Cinema Pro app, that's the version. So let's let's do the restart and see. Oh, where is it? It's, I think it's, I don't know, something's changed or maybe no. I'm not sure. So let's see, system, update, and it's ready for the restart. I'm doing the restart now and let's see. Let's see now how long the restart should take and hopefully it's going to be smooth. No troubles. One vibration, then you get the Sony logo and it should be updated. Xperia also, it should be the Xperia logo also. I will leave this in real time so you see exactly how long it takes after the restart. If you get a boot loop, if something is wrong, remove any memory card you might have in your phone or even the SIM card and then try again. But I never had issues with the boot loops or anything like this. It takes a bit of time on the Sony logo, it stays a bit there. And then it shows the Xperia logo and it's okay. Hope it's, hope it's going well this one. The charger is plugged in, so plugged in right there. It could stay here, I will leave it f even for one hour if needed. Yeah, I wouldn't force the phone to restart if, if I get doubts or anything. You saw that powered by Android, Xperia. And I think we're good now. Oh, oh, the, the clock changed. Oh, interesting. Wow. The the font of the clock changed and it's much more visible. I like it a little bit bigger. And here we have, there's one button less here. I guess I have to customize it again. I have to enter the passcode and, oh, the phone is starting, interesting. Before it didn't tell me that. Finishing system updates. Oh, I like this. Oh, interesting. The clock, I like the font of the clock. It's much more interesting. And this is the pull down menu. That's the Android 15 pull down menu. And I was, uh, someone was saying that it's not nice, but I don't know, I like it. I mean, I can turn off the Wi-Fi, keep the 5G on. Let's see if the 5G still works. 5G works. That's the 5G logo. I think these logos are a little bit larger now. So, and I have, oh wow, I have here the search bar. By default, it's DuckDuckGo. Is it? Interesting. But then it's opening Google. So I don't know what's this. It's opening Google, but it shows DuckDuckGo. I think this is a bug here. I could choose, maybe after restart it will go away or something, I don't know. But this this search bar here is a little bit different. I don't have this, uh, I have to go tap another time to get the uh, voice command and search for picture. I don't know if I like that, but it's saving more space on the bottom. And I think the icons are a bit larger or I'm not sure. There is, it's saving space on the bottom here, so that's that's good. Let's turn back the Wi-Fi and see the Wi-Fi is connected. I mean, it looks good. The night light, 
Nightlight works. Everything looks good, so... Okay, so let's see in the settings. In the settings, some things seem to be different now, I think. I'm not sure, maybe I'm just imagining. And uh, about, I think in about phone, it's still the same model, XQDQ54. And now this is the build number, 67.2.8.2.41. Let's check the photography video pro app version quickly. That's the video pro app version. The photography pro app version there. I don't know, I think they changed, but I'm not sure. I didn't actually look at it. I'm just recording it for later. That's the versions here. So the camera works. Okay. I will see if there's anything weird and let you know. But so far, the phone works after the update. Thanks for watching. So update your phone when you get the Android 15. I like the clock. It's really nice.